welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for this video today. I have had a pile of stuff sitting in my room here, my Disney room, and I have been waiting to share them with you before I put them away. And this pile is pretty large, so sit back, relax, and let's unbox some new Disney goodies that I have recently purchased. So first, I am going to show you guys the stuff that I've purchased from Shop Disney over the past month or so that I have acquired, and it's a random range of stuff. Some of them were gifts, some of them were things that I purchased myself, so it's going to be kind of all over the place, but we're going to start with ears. So the first set of ears, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot on social media, but it is the Tiana Bobble Bar Ears. I fell in love with these. I think these are stunning. I can't wait to put an outfit together to wear them to the parks. But I love the detail, the gold little pearl detail around the ears. Obviously, the beautiful crown. Love that. And I love the um, velvetness to it. And then on the inside, it does have the little, like, tag that says Disney Bobble Bar. I just think that these are so, so pretty. Um, these are a huge win. I think that Bobble Bar did a really good job with these ears. And I fell in love with them when I saw them online, so I had to pick them up, and I am in love. So let me know if you guys love these as much. Tiana is one of my favorite princesses of all time, so love these, and I'm super excited that they finally made some ears for her. Love. The next pair of ears are newer. I believe they are still on Shop Disney. If not, um, I know that they just released in the park, so I'm sure they'll restock. But these are the newer version of rose gold ears. So these are a little bit like fluffier in terms of like the ears themselves. They're not as stiff. And these have a beautiful pink satin bow, which I think just looks really, really nice. It complements it well. It's not too much rose gold. Really, really nice. These are some of my favorite ears that they've recently released that weren't like character themed. So I really, really like these a lot. And I cannot wait to wear these. Again, if you guys don't know, my next trip is in June and it's actually a like girls trip with some friends who haven't been to Disney in years. So I'm super excited about it and I have been planning my outfits and I cannot wait to incorporate these into one of my outfits. And I am in love with these. I just think that they're really well done. And I just love everything about them. So if I can find these online, and the same with the Tiana ears, I will definitely link them down below for you guys. My last pair of new ears that I have are these beautiful Tomorrowland ears. These are stunning. I don't believe they are online anymore, so I'm, I'm not even sure if they're in the park. I haven't heard anybody talk about these. But what I love about them are, so we have these beautiful gl like glitter ears, and then the rim is the purple to complement the purple bow. The purple bow has like stars and polka dots, very galactic theme. The actual band itself all the way around is the holographic sort of style. And then obviously the purple interior. Love everything about these. Really think these are super cool and unique. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about them. And I am in love with them. I knew right when I wanted them that I, or right when I saw them online that I wanted them. So I actually asked my mom for these for Easter. And I did get these as an Easter gift, so I really love these so, so much, and I am obsessed. I don't think anybody else has even talked about them or shown them on social media, so I'm surprised that the hype isn't there, but I think these are stunning. I totally lied. I do have one more pair of ears, and they are the new iridescent 50th ears. These are the ones with the gold iridescent and the navy blue bow. These obviously are super beautiful. I am obsessed with these. And I have yet to see them restock online. They restocked so, like their first stock was so brief because it went so fast. Um, so I'm really lucky that I was able to get my hands on them. But I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I love the blue. I actually think I like this pattern and set up more than the pink ones back there. Like I love those pink ones, don't get me wrong. But this just like speaks to me so much. I just really love it. And... I love that I can kind of pair this with something more, like, dark colored. I feel like a lot of times with ears I have to, like, pair, like, pink or, like, light colored things. And I feel like this I can really incorporate some of that navy. It's just really, really exciting. So I really love these. And then to go along with a couple of ears, I, of course, had to pick up a couple new lounge flies. So the first lounge fly actually matches these ears. Um, and again, I haven't heard anybody talk about this lounge fly, 
But when I saw it online, I knew I needed it. I'm obsessed with Tomorrowland. So this was a Tomorrowland lounge fly. It is so beautiful. It has Tomorrowland across the front. It is all holographic with all of these cool, like, intricate lines, polka dot stars all over the place. Super, super cool. Has the two side pockets, as usual, the front pocket, the main pocket. And so the interior is gray, and it just says Tomorrowland all over it. But I love this so, so much. Like, I haven't seen anyone talk about this. I think it's so, so beautiful. And honestly, like... I feel like kind of like special that I got it because I haven't seen anybody talk about it or share about it and I think that this would be such a cool like if you wanted to do like a Tomorrowland themed outfit. I actually recently got this shirt from Making Magic Inc and they came out with a Tomorrowland one so I it is purple so I feel like the Tomorrowland purple with this backpack with those ears with biker shorts like it is a total outfit and I'm super excited to wear that so this backpack those ears that shirt is gonna be so so cool and I'm really excited about it but I wanted to show this to you because it's just so so beautiful I'm really obsessed to be honest like it's just so nice I really think they did a good job with it I love the holographic all over it's just so good and like I don't think I showed you the back but it's just the back with the white pleather straps so, so stunning. So, moving on to the next lounge fly that I had to get, and you guys probably already saw this coming. The new holographic iridescent gold and blue lounge fly backpack. Love everything about this. I love this so much. I honestly, again, I think I love this whole blue and gold thing more than the iridescent pink. Like, don't get me wrong, I love pink. I'm a pink girl, but for some reason, this one's just been speaking to me, and I actually kind of like that this blue is a little bit of a lighter version of the dark blue, which is really nice. Um, and it has the gold iridescent tone all over, the gold sequins, the gold zips, and um, same over here, the gold ears, the gold bow, like everything about this, even the um, little placard thing. I'm totally blanking on what it's called. Whatever. So it is so beautiful and I am obsessed with this one. I have been become a lounge fly girly as you guys can probably tell. Let me see if I can show you the interior of this. It mimics the interior of the pink one. You guys cannot see that. So it's the Mickey silhouette on the blue background similar to how the Mickey silhouette was on the pink background with the pink backpack. But I do know that they have been restocking these a lot in the parks. I don't know about online because I haven't been eyeing it online anymore, so I have been keeping up. But if I can find it or find, like, the link somehow to it, I will send you guys a link so you can, like, double check that link constantly to see when they restock. But this one is one of the most beautiful lounge flies I've ever seen, and I'm obsessed with this one for sure. My last two items in the Shop Disney part of this. Oh, actually, let's... I have a couple more, sorry. Totally miscounted. So I have th four more items of the Shop Disney items that I purchased. The next one is this long sleeve Mickey Walt Disney World shirt that's part of the new iridescent collection. Um, really, really love this. I got this in an extra large. These do run large. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm, I am 100% positive, I think, that they still have, I'm almost 100% positive that they still have this online. The interesting about thing about this is, like, the hem, it's not, like, completely finished. It's more of, like, a raw hem, sort of, and it kind of curls up a little bit at the bottom. That doesn't seriously bother me because I kind of tuck it in, but, yeah, this is the shirt. Um, love the color of it. Everything about this, everything about this collection, this new iridescent collection I'm obsessed with. Really love this and um, I can't wait to wear this. Again, we are getting into the warmer months, but I think I can pull this off a little bit longer where I live because we are at 80 degrees today, but tomorrow it's going to be like 40 or 50, so I could definitely pull this off if I wanted to. Um, but I'm really excited about this one, and I think it's really beautiful. Another clothing item, I got this for Easter from my mom. This is a Mickey shirt that is still available online. I got it in a really big fit. I actually believe this is a 2X. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, this is just an extra large, but this runs really big, so it would be really cute with biker shorts. Um, I just like the Mickeys on the top. I love the tie-dye. I know I don't know if tie-dye is like fading back out, but I'm still living for it and I'm really excited about this. 
but I can just see like this with biker shorts or even wearing this like this might be long enough to be like a dress like this would be really really cute um but I'm obsessed with this and I think it's really really pretty and short sleeve so we can wear it at the parks love 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 Okay, we're on my last two items, and one of these is popping out of the packaging, so hold on a minute. Okay, so I did get the new iridescent Mickey pop socket. I love pop sockets, but I don't like ones that like don't really go with like my phone theme. I always have these cases on it. Again, these are from Get It Creations. I've talked about them before, but um, I think that these are some of like the best Disney cases out there, and this is super cute to add on top and I'm really excited because it kind of works because it's all like iridescent 50th themed so I'm really excited about that one and that I believe was like $12.99 but the price is not on there so that's not helpful but I think it was around like 10 to $12. My last item is a little bit pricey but when do I not buy something pricey as you guys know it is the Lily Pulitzer Disney backpack you guys have probably been waiting for me to share this on here because I have had this for so long this collection came out so long ago um yeah so this is the backpack they do constantly have a restock and I do know that in the parks and at Disney Springs specifically they have quite a bit of inventory um but this is that I love that this is like a true backpack like this would be either like a big park backpack or like a plane backpack for me I always do like Disney luggage Disney everything so you guys know but I love the colors. I haven't been a big Lily Pulitzer girl in the past. My mom is. And when she showed me the collection, she got quite a few things. But I knew I wanted the backpack just because I'm a backpack girly. Love backpacks all the time. But I love that it has like the side pockets for your water bottle. And then it has the front zipper. I wish I had a little bit more zipper stuff. There's only one back zipper pocket. The entire interior is just open. And then I like the gold detailing where it has like the gold patch on the front and then the gold handle on the top. But this is just a really nice material. It can get wet. It's not something that's going to stain really. It's just a really good sturdy backpack and I'm really excited about this. Honestly, this is a really good purchase for me. I use backpacks all the time. I travel a lot. My husband travels a lot for work. Sometimes I go with him and like I always bring a backpack in the car, on the plane, etc. So this is a expensive but realistic purchase for me. Okay, moving on to a kind of random category, we're gonna move on to Vera Bradley. As you guys probably know, Vera Bradley came out with a Little Mermaid collection and I only got two things from this collection because one, I'm not a huge Little Mermaid fan, but I do love Vera Bradley and two, I don't need a ton of stuff from them. I have a lot of bags as you guys know, but a couple things caught my eye and the first was this backpack. Now, this is much smaller than you think. Like, this is small. It's a small backpack. Um, so this is really more for, like, every day or a small park bag. I don't even think you could fit ears in here. Let me see if I can figure that out real quick. Okay, you could just barely fit ears in here, but I don't know if you'd be able to close it, really. So that's part of the more like everyday sort of thing or this could be a really cute beach tote or beach backpack it does have one internal pocket and one zip pocket on the inside and then it does have the drawstring closure which is really nice we all love a good drawstring here so it just cinches that in real nice i do like that this drawstring is kind of like a push button thing and then of course you have your snap you do have two side pockets that you could probably fit Maybe a phone in not really much space for like a water bottle but a phone or maybe like a skinny can if you guys catch my drift I don't drink but some people like the skinnier cans and then these do have long straps that are adjustable on the back I obviously have not used this yet um, but yeah this is really nice um, it is made of cotton um, this was actually made of recycled cotton which is even better and I just really like this. I thought that this was going to be bigger, but honestly, I kind of love the size because I feel like this is a good, like, everyday sort of little mini backpack that you could just carry to the store, whatever. Really, really cute. And I think this is the pattern. I didn't even show you guys the pattern. Um, like, it's obviously, like, Disney Little Mermaid themed, but I feel like it doesn't scream Little Mermaid. It's kind of more subtle. So you could be wearing this and people would just think it's kind of like an aquatic theme. But I really love this. Okay, the only other thing I got from the Little Mermaid collection is the little treasure chest pouch. I, when I saw this, 
my heart was like, oh, that is adorable. I don't even know what I would put in here, but honestly, like, could you go wrong with this little treasure chest? Like, really? Like, it's all the way around, like, the exact shape of a treasure chest. It has the zipper, has some little, like, details. Obviously, you got flounder there. When you open it, it's just a little interior it actually has like a microfiber suede sort of like lining inside so this might be really nice for like jewelry or more delicate items like watches i actually might take this and put like my magic bands in here i think that'd be really cute um but i just love the little shape it's just absolutely adorable you gotta find a reason to get some things but sometimes like when you see these, you just, you gotta get them, because they're just, I don't know when you would find something like this ever again. Like, this is just really, really cute. I'm obsessed. I don't know how much this was. $35 for this. I think everything in this collection was reasonably priced. Um, but yeah, this was $35. It's a little pricey for a tiny little thing, but this is really cute. Okay, moving on to one of my favorite stores of all time, Box Lunch. Okay, so when I was there... They were doing buy one get one half off on all t-shirts, so I got four. I'm currently going through an obsession with oversized tees and Winnie the Pooh. I don't know why, it's just happening at the same time. So I got this Tigger tee, which I think is really, really cute. Um, I also wear these like boxy short shirts to work out in, so I think that this would be a really cute like workout shirt, but this would be really cute at Disney. This says Tigger, and then I got one that says, same style, that says Pooh. Got we got some Winnie the Pooh here. Love. Love Winnie the Pooh. And then we got one more that looks a lot like the other two. And this actually is Flower from Bambi, which I think is really, really cute. So I got three shirts. These are all extra large. I liked the way that the extra large fit a little bit baggier. The large fits, but it was just I like I like the baggy oversized look right now. And then the last shirt I got is another Pooh. But I liked this because it had two different color sleeves, and then it had the red um, neckline along with the letters of all different colors. So everything about this, I was obsessed with. You know me and my shirts, and these shirts are just beautiful and stunning, and I was like, I need them in my life right now. I also got this. This is so cute. It's a little card holder, and you guys will probably know why I needed it, but I'm gonna show it to you first. So it has the three card slots here, the main card slot in the middle, and then another card slot in the back. It says Walt Disney World, but what I love about this, here I'll give you guys a couple seconds to guess why I needed this. Okay, so this has the phantasmic little like water mountain thing with Maleficent the dragon on there, and you guys know I'm obsessed with phantasmic, so it's on the front and on the back. But I also love that it just has a lot of icons. So it has like pirates, it has uh, Tower of Terror, it has Rock and Roller Coaster, the Carousel, it has Haunted Mansion, Everest. It's just like everything you could ever want. On the back, it has the castle, it has Ep the uh, Spaceship Earth, it has um, this is the obviously the China um, building in Epcot. You, oh, I didn't even notice on here you got Figment. So many really cool little things of like all in here that are kind of hidden that you may not recognize this even has like the little elephant from jungle cruise right there so cute everything about this so this is the most adorable card holder i'm going to be bringing this with me for disney and i'm obsessed like completely 100 percent obsessed with that the last item i got from box lunch is going to be added to my up collection so this is another carl and ellie up Funko Pop, and this is the one with the balloon cart, so needed that. I obviously have a lot of up stuff, as you guys know. I do also have another scene where they got married. I don't have that on display. That's actually in a different room, but these are just my pride and joy. These are the only real, like, Funko Pops that I collect are the up ones so these ones are always like right on the top of my list whenever they come out and when I saw this this is a I think it was a box lunch yeah it's a box lunch exclusive so I knew I needed this just wanted to share that with you because that one means a lot to me my last items are all from the same company so I talked about one of these back when I was packing for my last Disney trip and I fell in love with these. 
and I love putting them on my fanny packs and my backpacks when I'm in Disney so I got a few more so we've got the Mickey pastel bobble bar keychain love this so much everything about this love the colors and then we got that same kind of style but with the like all over different colors I think this one's really cool and then this is the one I've really wanted and I'm so happy I finally have and it is the pearl one now these can be pretty pricey for a little keychain but these are so cute I got so many compliments on these when I had my other one on my bags when I was in Disney in December so or actually in March sorry um, but yeah it's not focusing I just think that these are so beautiful so I know that video was really long I'm sorry it was so long but I really wanted to show you guys all of these amazing items that I've been picking up here and there from different places I love all of the stuff I got and let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite things that I got or what's your one favorite item that I got anyway as always thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and I really appreciate all of your time watching me and you know sitting with me letting me share all of my love of Disney you guys are amazing and I just love to create content for you guys and share my life with you thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I love you guys so much I'll see you in the next one bye